Hey guys, it's Jimmy Jones with eXp Realty. I wanted to shoot a quick video to talk to you a little bit today about the addendum for property subject to a mandatory membership in a property owners association, also known as the HOA addendum. It's a short document, one pager, but it's very powerful because it provides uh, peace of mind for all parties talking about who's responsible for transfer fees uh, and the subdivision information. So uh, in paragraph A, it talks about who's responsible for the subdivision information, whether the seller or the buyer is gonna secure those documents and provide copies to the other party. Uh, if the buyer um, has secured those documents, maybe they already received them, or they can waive their right to those documents if they want to. Now, uh, specifically talking about the HOA documents, the conditions, covenants, and restrictions, which is also known as the deed restrictions that most people refer to, uh, that's basically the what, uh, what is or what is not allowed in the uh, on properties subject to the homeowners association. Um, it talks about how the property will be built, used, and maintained. Um, the bylaws basically talk about how uh, the HOA will be governed. Um, you know how often they're going to have meetings. Um, you know if they have elections and so forth. And then they have rules and regulations, which are basically a catch-all. Uh, it's rules that maybe maybe need to be revised over time as the community changes. And then the fourth document is the resale certificate. And that's basically um, provides peace of mind to the buyer that the seller is up to date on their HOA dues, uh, that they don't have any outstanding uh, deed violations or, or fees that they need to pay. And um, the rest of the HOA document talks about material changes in the subdivision information um, the seller is responsible for letting the buyer know about that. It also talks about transfer fees, um, that the buyer is responsible for paying up to a certain dollar amount of the transfer fees and anything over and above that uh, is paid by the seller. Uh, it also talks about um, if the seller uh, provides authorization for the homeowners association to provide those information or those documents to um, either the brokers or the title company, uh, who is gonna be responsible for paying for that. So I hope this information has been helpful. It's a lot of information. So if you have questions, you know, message me down below. If you have any subjects that you'd like me to cover on maybe a future video, please also message me down below and let me know the subject and I'll, I'll research it and shoot a video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day.